Tim Boatman, Cedarboard. Good evening. Um, so Cedarboard is a data-driven platform. Um, we gather information for investors from portfolio companies. We enable companies to privately share information with their boards and shareholders. Um, we promote transparency, investor awareness, and better decision making. So 46% of startups, startup failures are caused by failure to plan, failure to progress, or failure to manage cash flow effectively. In order for investors to aim for their expected two to 2.5 times return for early, early stage investments, they need to make decisions based on more than just a snazzy business plan and a good idea. So, over the past decade, there have been huge changes in the way that companies carry out business decision making. Previously, business intelligence was considered a luxury reserved only for large companies and firms with deep pockets. Like so many other functions that have been overhauled by emerging technologies, the specialized tools becoming more widely available help business make smarter decisions. We aim to make the right companies more investable. So at the moment, we're working with a variety of early stage companies and trying to put their investments in a better place so that investors can see what's actually going on. We see firsthand how lean and agile technology enabled teams are able to be smarter than many of their more established competitors. So tonight, I'm going to talk to you about the current state of startups uh, from a perspective of business intelligence and investments. I'll explain how investors with improved data can handle early stage businesses and are able to make smarter decisions and reduce their risk when investing. I'll finish by highlighting some of the benefits to the entire startup ecosystem that can be expected as companies use BI more effectively. So, as I mentioned, before the tools to help business intelligence for early stage companies have traditionally been out of reach through lack of skills and lack of budgets. This is now beginning to change. Digital companies formed in the post-internet era find it less challenging to overcome these issues. Many of them use a multitude of specialized services that have emerged under a software as a service or cloud model. Without the need to support any IT infrastructure or legacy systems, with long contracts, these services are quickly adopted and companies can get them up and running very quickly and get rid of them if they don't need them any longer. Sadly though, it's not all perfect. The main issues that companies still face are time constraints to tackle reporting, not knowing what information is actually useful to the running of the business, and not being able to extract data from the plethora of online siloed systems. So quite often, companies fall down when they try and measure everything around them. They quickly find they can't keep track of, and none of the data means anything useful. The best strategies seem to be uh, looking at the business's objectives and trying to measure a particular pattern that's occurring. For example, what did changing this do to our subscriber numbers? How did the weather patterns affect our monthly figures? And how will it affect next month's? As companies start to discover their actionable metrics, they can map through most of their processes and determine what needs to be measured. Cedarboard's aiming to bring together uh, lots of different systems into one place by importing data using APIs and providing a central place for relevant, and for relevant data to be analyzed and stored. We allow investors to make smarter decisions based on their portfolio. This allows a company also, this also allows a company using the platform to share a single dashboard with the investors. The dashboard is private between the company and its stakeholders. It contains all the information an investor requires as agreed between the company and its investor. We don't broadcast the privileged information. Uh, we keep everything such as funding status and strategic situation away from the wider audiences. Over time, companies start to build up and show signs of performance, progress, and transparency. They start to build up a track record and earn trust from their investors. When, investments, when investments involve multiple groups, multiple funds, or lots of individuals, Cedarboard provides a way for parties to access information, reducing the administrative overhead and saving time. Any issues a company might have shared and addressed Sorry, any issues a company might have 
uh, shared with its investors can be ad addressed early on and show more time and energy and more time and energy can be spent on growth. Most importantly, companies tend to have a much better insight on their own situation. In addition to bringing together filtered information from other silos with a specific information with a specific purpose helping the investment relationship, startups also receive further benefits. Let me give you a typical example of how Cedarboard helps a company gain better insight into its ecosystem. An early stage company is likely to know the rates for goods and services directly related to its business. But when it comes to other business functions, third party services, hiring staff, overpaying can have a big effect on cash flow. It can also bring the burn rate right down. We, hope, we help companies identify the rates other startups pay for certain services, helping them manage their budgets more effectively. It has been said around London tech firms and the so-called Silicon Roundabout that early stage funding is no longer a problem for viable companies. Now, lack of growth is an issue. In fact, it's one of the main drivers for companies looking to move to the US. A major factor for holding back this lack of growth capital is when existing investors fail to reinvest in later funding rounds. Often, this is a natural reaction caused by the fact that the business they backed two or three years ago has been silent all the while and there's no signs of progress. So, can business intelligence increase the success for early stage businesses? For investors, receiving communication and reporting from companies via a sing single system, every portfolio company can lend itself to better analysis and understanding of, an, of the entire portfolio over a specific period. When it comes to investment criteria, veteran investors, investors often say, don't back the business, back the founders. This is true if you have no supporting data for the early stage company. But when a company has records over time which show its path to success, its consistency to perform, and its ability to execute, companies can prove they're in an investable state even at an earlier stage. As data from the company flows to investors, a trend of the overall market starts to form. This trend can be analyzed in real time to spot emerging patterns, and it can also identify changes in risk for companies based on how they progress against their targets. Investors begin to draw on data and from other investments to spot trends and deviations. If business intelligence can reduce risks for investors, investments can now be considered at an earlier stage when potential returns are much higher. The knock-on effect drives more investments for more startups. So to conclude, in the changing landscape in the early stage ecosystem, companies need to measure the right performance and metrics to be able to compete against established competition. The new capabilities for BI for companies means this process becomes much easier. With more agile decision making based on relevant data, they need to maintain a centralized view. The new capabilities of BI for investors empowers the investors to select businesses who have shown that they have reached an investment state rather than an investment stage. Smarter use of data correlates relevant information and provides industry analytics to benefit the entire startup ecosystem. So we believe that by reducing the 46% of the startup failures caused by failure to plan, failure to progress, and failure to manage finances, the two to 2.5 times return expected by investors is more easily achievable. Thanks for listening, and does anyone have any questions? Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Um, it looks like a brilliant thing. So, so this is a platform you've built. Yes. Or, okay. Um, do you see what what kind of API white labeling access? Are you, are you doing anything like that? Because it would be really interesting to see where um, what synergy you can have with crowdfunding platforms like ours. And yep. you know, this is a, this is a major issue that we need to solve. So I'd be interested in seeing what what types of companies do you want to partner with and what's your plans there? So at the moment our target audience is uh, any company that's got investment. Um, we are not looking to actually raise money for people um, because crowdfunding platforms are already doing that. Um, we're looking to partner with them at a little later down the line. Currently we're in beta working with accelerators to bring their companies in, work with them and iron out any issues with the reporting process. But absolutely we're looking to use APIs, open it up to a wider audience.
and white label. Hi, sorry, could you just clarify to me again what stage companies would benefit most from this? So any company that's received an, 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 an investment um, up to IPO level. We don't tend to go beyond IPO because there are many more complications associated with that, um, but sort of in that early stage of the market. Tim, one, one thing that um, sort of resonates with me is to, uh, that investors will invest in the state of the company, not the stage. Yes. And we, 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 as you know, do a lot of research and map out all the companies in the fintech sector, and we end up putting them in stages, not states. Okay. So we talk about, you know, pre-launch and so on and so forth. I'm just wondering if there are any investors here who think that's an interesting point to invest in state, not stage. Does anyone want to, does anyone want to invest in early stage companies who think that's useful? No comments? Okay, in that case, thank you very much, Tim. Great, thank, thank you. you.